Hello, performance class people. I'm on take 27. Not kidding. Just about. Okay. A time for us. Love theme from Romeo and Juliet. I've said this a lot of times, but none of you have heard it because I keep deleting the videos. We're going from a waltz rhythm to a 4-4 rhythm back to a waltz rhythm. I'm achieving that by using two buttons that are next to each other. Waltz 2. I'm using a rhythm called Lullaby. And then I'm going to go to the classic button, and in the same variation slot, third variation, it gives me 101 strings, so strings 101. They'll work really nicely together. I'm still playing it kind of in a three-quarter beat pattern, though I won't change how I count it. For my sound, I'm using a really beautiful Stradivarius violin that I got out of the category preset under the button more, Nostalgic. It is one of my favorite categories. If you do not have Nostalgic, come and see me. You should have that. Um, if you're in this class, it's you'd love it. I mean, it covers so many different genres of music, but awesome. And I'll show it to you, and who knows, you'll leave with a new organ. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to use the, the start-stop function of the touch bar. Now, we've done this for two weeks in a row, and again, it minimizes you having to come up and press a bunch of buttons to make the rhythm stop. We can get into the new rhythm by doing the effects, but to get out of it, we're going to stop the rhythm and play the note. It adds a little drama. It's really, really lovely. Then, to end the song, I'm going to let the ending play, but I'm going to change it to a major chord from a minor chord, t do a tag ending, kind of play the last line over it, and then go back to a minor chord. So this arpeggio that it kind of runs up at the end will sound like the beginning does. And remember, we're starting with pickup notes. So when there's no chord and pickup notes, if the first chord and the last chord are different, use the last chord for the intro. So we'll start with the A minor chord right now, and then we'll go into the E minor to start the song. So here we go. A minor to start. With the introduction. There you go. Did you hear the ending would change back? The ending was that arpeggio was all minor, but the other part was major. All right. Maybe you'll get it done in one take. Hey, good for you. Have a great week. Bye.